house of the pub. Come to Jesus. Time to come to God. Time to turn to God. Repent, repent, repent. Be converted in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God loves you, brother. God loves you. Jesus Christ died for you. You believe? You believe in Jesus? Yes, he loves you. He died for you. In Jesus' name, have you got a need? What is your need? Food, food and housing. Father God, right now, God, in the name of Jesus, I pray God for this young man. I pray for him, food, housing, in Jesus' name, accommodation for him now, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God loves you and God says trust me I will provide for you God says give me your heart give me your heart and I'll give you my kingdom have you prayed have you asked Christ into your heart would you like to pray now okay I prayed for you praise God God bless you God loves you God will provide for you in Jesus name God bless you father right now in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your daughter right now. God, in Jesus' name, I pray to the power of Satan now, in Jesus' name, from her life. Every addiction, every curse, I pray now, in the name of the Lord, I command every works of Satan to be broken now, in Jesus' name. Release, God, your blood into her heart. Release your power, God, upon her now, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me, Jesus, I thank you for saving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come into my heart. Lord Jesus, make me born again by your Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. God is real. God loves you. God is in the business of changing lives. God bless you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Jesus for Manchester today. What a miserable day it is today. But God will give you that life, that light of life that He wants to give you. You're never going to be happy without Jesus Christ. These things in the world are going to help you. They're going to give you that joy, that love, that peace that you need from our Lord Jesus Christ. God so loved the world, He said, Son, for God's Son, that whoever shall believe in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. God did not send His Son into this world to condemn the world. But through him, you might be saved. Saved from what? Saved from your sin. Saved from death. Saved from the enemy, the devil. And that's what the devil's here. He's only here to kill, steal, and destroy. Drag you to hell. You believe in Halloween and all this bad stuff. That's why the earth belongs to God. But Satan has authority at this precise moment. And he's just dragging everybody. From the day one when Adam was made out of dust. Already Satan has seen as God, the guy, as Adam, as an enemy. He already had a target to destroy them because you made in a wonderful image of God. You made, he knows every hair on your head. That's why he hates you. That but God loves you. That's why he tells you the Lord is gracious. He's compassionate. He's slow in anger, rich in love. That love you can't get from no man, no woman, no drugs, no alcohol. That's why we're here to tell you that God loves you. And you just need Jesus, but you must be born again, born in the spirit of water, and have that spiritual relationship with him. That's why we're here. We don't hate you, we love you. But that's why all these things that's real, you've got clubbing, partying, whatever you do. It's only that moment of time. But we are telling you that God loves you. We need, you need to repent. Jesus said repent, because the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent, or likewise perish. That's why God demonstrates his love 
While yet we were still sinners, Christ died for you. He died for your sins on that cross. He took that punishment, that wrath, he took on, put on himself. He was pierced for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The Gentiles was peace upon him and by his stripes you're healed. He heal you. You serve a living God, don't know dead God. He rose from the dead on that third day. So you can raise from your grave and be with him for eternity. The Bible says appointed to man to die once and then comes judgment. You have to give an account of all your life, all what you've done, night, day. You can't hide nothing from God. Anything you've done in darkness will come into light. Anything you've done whispered will be proclaimed when the rooftops of heaven. That's why God knows everything. We have to give an account. We fear for you. Paul said, therefore, now the tell the Lord, we're here to persuade men to repent. Turn away from your wicked ways and turn to Jesus Christ. He's the only way. I was there selling the drugs, selling the crack, the heroin, the guns in Birmingham. But Jesus come and change my life upside down. Religion can't save you. Nothing can save you in this world. You are going to die one day. Your flesh ain't going to live forever. You got, you know, some people think you don't know where you're going. You think you're going to come back into this world. You think you're going to disappear. But you got a conscience, you got a soul. You make plans for your pension, your funeral. But what about your soul, the eternity? Where is it going to go? Hell is real. Jesus spoke more about hell than anything. And that's why we have to open your eyes. That's why we're here to tell you the truth. That if you have your last breath, you will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And you'll have to give an account of what you've done, where you've done it. And you, that's, that's the only way that you're going to get heaven or hell. Broad is the way to destruction. Narrow is the way to life. And that's through Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Him. That's it. Only through Him. You can't go to no Muhammad, no Buddha, no Sikh gods, no Hindu gods. There's only Jesus. He's a living God. Every other God's been in the grave. None of them rose from the grave. Only Jesus. Why are you going to follow people that are sinners? We you should follow the one who is holy, who is righteous, who is God. And that's only Jesus Christ. No sin, no unrighteous, no wicked are going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's what Jesus said. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are those who are meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are those who are pure in heart, for they will be called the child of God. Blessed are those who uh, are pure in heart, they will be, they will be, they will be called the child of God. And blessed are those who are hungry and thirst for righteousness, for his sake, for they shall be filled. But that's why we're here. We love you. We need to be born again. <laughs> that's why we're here every day. We come from Birmingham for no reason and other places in the UK. We come because we love you. We care for you. We care about your soul, mate. And that's why God wants you to come to Him. We repent. Seek Him while He may be found. Draw near to Him and He'll draw near to you. That's why we're here. That's why if you confess your sin, admit your sin, it's easy. It's to forgive your sin. We serve a loving God, a merciful God. And no other religion is going to save you, my sister. You need Jesus Christ. You don't need to do no rituals or traditions. You just need to call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. That's why we're here. Tomorrow's not promised. Life is like a vapor. You might not see tomorrow morning, but where are you going to be heading? This is the thing. You know they're running for these worldly things. God said, love not the world. These are things of this world. For anyone who loves this world is not the love of the Father in him. Therefore, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the part of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Anybody who loves this world is an enemy of God. At the moment, you're an enemy of God. The wrath of God is on your heads. And it's your choice what you choose. But on the last day of judgment, if you're not walking with Jesus Christ, hellfire will be there, weeping and gnashing of teeth, eternal torture. That we fear for you. That's what we fear for your souls. We're not here to waste our time to entertain you, thinking this is some joke. But the devil is a blinded man. And from the day one has blinded you. We love you, we care for you. That's what we're here. He changed my life, but he's been sick. Going to these temples, telling drugs, no other God spoke to me. The only God spoke to me is Jesus. 
he heard my cry and he come to me, he gave me that strength and, and my soul with bone, bones, everything. He just, he just changed my life with upside down. He changed it. He took all the heroin and every drug addiction, any cannabis addiction, anything he took off, him, off me. I may be brand new. And I was there selling the guns in gangs. That's why now he just changed my life. And all I do is live for him. That's why now all this stuff's going on, this coronavirus, all this wars and rumors. Jesus says immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give his light. The stars will fall from heaven and the powers of heaven will be shaken. And the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. And all the tribes will therefore mourn. And they will see the Son of Man come in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess to God because he's the only Lord and Lord of the King of Kings and no one else and that's why we call you to repent because the kingdom of God is at hand repent or likewise perish we love you we care for you this nation is what needs to get back to God Jesus says if my people are called by my name humble themselves Turn away from the wicked way, see my face and pray. He'll heal you from the heavens and he'll forgive you for your sins and he'll heal this land. He wants to heal Manchester. He wants to clean everything. Your drug addicts, your religion, your things that are separate you from God. Is that sin? That's sin that you love in. That's why you've been given the ministry of reconciliation. We know you back to God. And the only way is to Jesus Christ. Just call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. That's why we're here. We got everybody here telling the truth. How God changed their lives. 